Haley Outen here alongside Mike O'Donnell. We're day one of the 2017 American Athletic Conference Men's Basketball Championship has just come to a close. Mike, we saw a great day of basketball. Let's take a look back to game number one where the nine seed East Carolina eliminated the eight seed Temple from the tournament. Mike, in large part, the Pirates' success tonight was due to a great game by Kentrell Barkley. Yeah, most people didn't even know if he was going to play. He had a really bad ankle situation coming into the game and he was questionable, but ended up having the game of his life, a grown man's game, 26 points 16 rebounds he was tremendous in the Pirates win they'll have another tough game tomorrow at noon Eastern time as they take on the top seed SMU Mike what do the Pirates have to do tomorrow to make it to the semifinals uh, they can't turn the ball over I mean SMU is too good of a team to give extra possessions to I mean there are five out of six players won postseason accolades for a reason and they're 12th in the country for a reason this is a really good basketball team they don't make mistakes so on the offensive end they have to limit turnovers and defensively they need to force SMU into contested shots no easy layups no uncontested jump shots that'll be a big key for tomorrow. Again, that game will tip at noon Eastern, followed by the four seed UCF and five seed Memphis joining tournament action. In session two of the day, we'll see the Tulsa Golden Hurricane who knocked off Tulane tonight. Mike, the Golden Hurricane had strong second half shooting and that's in large part why they were victorious today. Yeah, the game went back and forth. Tulane uh, made a couple runs, Tulsa made a couple runs, but ultimately it was the performance of Pat Burt, their senior leader, one of three players back from that NCAA tournament team last year. Tulsa's young, but they are talented. They have really good wing play and excellent perimeter players so they're going to put up a fight tomorrow. I had a chance to talk to Coach Haith after the game. He said his team's been dealing with some confidence here late in the season but earlier this season when they met Cincinnati they only lost by two points on their home court. It's hard to beat a team three times. Yeah there's no question and when you have a young team you're going to have some spurts late in the year where you're tired and maybe you lack your confidence but on a neutral floor anything can happen especially tournament time. We saw it last year with UConn when they went on that miraculous run. Tulsa has the talent to do that. They just need to make shots, limit their turnovers and don't get too crazy with any type of uh, change of style of play. That game will tip at 7 p.m. Eastern, and then in the late game tomorrow night, we'll see the sixth seed UConn, who just eliminated USF from the tournament. Mike, there were so many momentum changes in that game. You really felt the crowd, but ultimately, Kevin Ollie got two big-time performances from his seniors. Yeah, Rodney Purvis was tremendous, a career-high 30 points. He was awesome. He was hitting threes, his fast-break layups, hit a couple jump shots, and actually a couple key defensive plays as well that not many people were talking about. UConn came to play. They, they fought off a tough USF Bulls team. Coach Barto had them prepared, ready to go for this game, but UConn ultimately was victorious without Jalen Adams having a really good game. So for tomorrow, if Purvis can have that uh, close to that same type of game and Adams scores in double figures, this UConn team is always dangerous come tournament time. It will be tough. They'll be going up against Damian Dotson and Rob Gray Jr., two of the top players in the conference. Mike, how do they shut those guys down? Houston can really score, and they can go on big runs. Every single player is gifted offensively for Houston. They can put up 80, 90 points on any given night. So defensively for UConn, they can't foul and put them on the free throw line. Houston's a very good free throw shooting team, and they're one of the top three-point shooting teams in the conference. So no easy free throws, no easy buckets for Houston, but guarding the three three-point line is going to be a huge key tomorrow. All right, well, four big games on the schedule. It's win or go home here in the conference tournament. We'll be back here tomorrow at the Excel Center, bringing you coverage right here all day long on the American Digital Network.